Don't know, but it doesn't. Why would it work? I don't know, but it doesn't. Yes. <laughs> no. Look, why don't you dry yourself off and get some fresh clothes out of the locker, okay? Hey! I made that just like when we were in med school. Extra mayonnaise and everything. I'm just not hungry. Come on, David. We've done everything we could figure to do. Yeah, I know. Look, why don't you lie down for a while? Get some rest. What about you? Oh, I'll lie down out here in a little while. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry about all the hassle over this. David. Look, you may be in there alone, but we're in this together, huh? As usual. As usual. Who's it, Emily? Dr. Banner began rapid eye Shit. Also beginning to register. Apparently, the people's upset. I think he's having a nightmare. 
With Uzi Emily. Now there seems to be some uh, malfunction in the EEG. Uzi man, Uzi man, Uzi man, Uzi man. Man, she smells like spit. And a half. We think I see the smell of Shelly because she ran. There's another smell of Shelly because she ran. No. 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 No.
shit. This is it? That's it. Oh, good grief. I carry this around for a while. I can give up my exercise classes. Oh, why don't you give them up anyway? I think you look terrific, Dr. Marks. Oh, Jerry, I always knew I liked you. Hey, why don't you run away with me to Acapulco? Oh, well, how about someplace more exotic? Casablanca. Well... The Mayo Clinic. Now you're talking. Oh, Jerry, you've been here too long. Too long! Scans and the synapse test. Mm, not bad, Jerry. I heard the myoglobin analysis is here. Globin analysis is here. It looks thorough. <laughs> hey, a reporter named Jack McKay called. Yeah, he's from the National Register. What's the interview? Uh, National Register is not exactly the Washington Post. No, not exactly. That's why we've been ducking him. Listen, would you do me a favor if you see David? Would you tell him I'm in there? Oh, thanks. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Well, we've got the myoglobin analysis back. I'll tell you, I think that computer ought to run for Congress. Yes, oh. a simple question gives you back a 10 pound answer, takes you a month to decipher. Yeah. Bring me again. That is before. No. Yeah. Any going back to the shrink? The doctor said I should expect the dreams to recur every now and then. I don't think they were better for a while. It's been almost a year. Eleven months. Mark. Dr. Marks? 
guess that's Mrs. Jessie Mayer and her son are here for you. Oh, okay. Would you tell them I'll be right out? Thank you. David, look, I think we should put this particular interview off for today. No, no, we're going to do it. So, why don't you bring them in while I go buy a dollar? Why don't I go bring them in while you go buy a donut? Hey, you want anything? I'll bring you a surprise. Research laboratory, and what we're trying to figure out here is just how strong the human body can be. Hey, my mom was real strong once. She saved my life. Yes, I know. And that's what we want to talk to you about. As I told you on the phone, Mrs. Mayor, what we're trying to learn is how to tap into that really incredible reserve of human strength that all of us have and only use about 20% of. You mean I'm stronger than I think I am? Oh, and you're much Come on over here. Excuse us. your weight at the time? Oh, it was about um, 110 pounds. Oh, wish I could keep mine as that. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Mrs. Mayor, if you just tell us your story in your own words. Well, I was driving to uh, Columbus, mm -hmm. Ohio to, to see my sister Katie, and um, BJ was um, sitting on the passenger side playing with his uh, car as, uh, as usual. <laughs> but but he, he did have his... Um, the seatbelt on. Mm -hmm. There wasn't there wasn't much traffic. I was going about fifty, I think. I just glanced over mm -hmm. at BJ just before it happened. The um the the tire had blown out. It was the left front tire. It tore the the the, the wheel so hard that it just came right out of my hand. And the um cars worked across across the road there and they said the front wheel got into the dirt and it started to roll then it rolled it rolled over it, it kept on rolling i thought it was never going to stop i guess the door it sprung open because all of a sudden i was just right there on the ground Ooh. Ooh, spit. the car was turned over to one you know sort of on its top to to one side like that Spit, 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 spit,
Strength for them. 110 pound women don't just lift up a half ton car. Now, where did that come from? I don't know. But if she tapped into it, it's got to be there. But how could she find the strength that I couldn't? You heard her story. My God, that's exactly what happened to me. Except that her son is alive and Laura is dead. And in every other case that we've researched, it's been the same story over and over and over again. But what is the common denominator? David, believe me, if I knew the answer, I'd tell you. I always liked your mother. She always 
Displayed any excessive strength before? Oh no, I used to get tired just doing my ironing. As a matter of fact, that's what I was doing when the earthquake hit. Then the ceiling collapsed. I was pinned under one of those steel beams. Then what? I started to smell the gas. But that's a smell you don't forget. I really got frantic. My parents had died that way in Germany. I guess I really got frantic. I wasn't going to let that happen to me. So, I put my hands on the beam that was across me. And somehow, I bent that steel beam and got out. Structures just like all the others we've examined, huh? That's annoying. What made all these people so strong? 
The only thing they had in common was extreme emotional commitment, but there has to be a physical explanation. David, maybe we should go further, right into the cellular structure itself. You mean the mitochondria? Yeah. I mean, they are responsible for converting fat and sugar derivatives into energy, yes? Uh, I'll take a look under the electron microscope. One tiny portion of a living cell. Well, to me, as many times as I've seen it, it still fascinates me that it would take over a half a million of those to cover the head of a pin. Well, enjoy the view. That's all we've got. Nothing abnormal on the computer scan. The mitochondria and Mrs. Mayer's cells were like all the others. Textbook normal, but nothing to indicate any reason or sort of extraordinary strength. Maybe we should go deeper still. Into the nucleus of the cell. To the DNA. We have nothing left to examine. You know, Ben's been souping up a lot of our equipment in higher power. Did he happen to modify this particular unit for higher magnification? I know it's set at 200,000. Yeah, he has a tape mark here for... a million. Let's see what we can see. The ultimate building block of life. David, there's something here. There's an abnormal concentration of the adenine thymine combination. Uh, okay. Okay. Now let's take a look at Mr. Bram's DNA structure. Anything? Yes, Mr. Bram has it too. Whoa. Uh, uh, Elena, we may have found it. She's probably like spit smell. See him a little extra cheap. Boop. When was the last time you had your DNA magnified a million times? No. Spit, spit, spit.
Five, four, three, two,
going over. Oh. If you have fear of pain, pit? you have food. But don't worry, switch to Jesus your cellular and get a free Samsung Galaxy pit? S25G so you can stream, capture, and post no. without food. Well, I guess there's nobody, nobody gonna come to, gonna come to our fucking broadcast, right?